Right, so this video is actually about data classes going through a dictionary in Python, but actually the question is going to be at the end is how do we go from a dictionary back to a data class? And I'm going to show you what I mean here. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a little block of code. And I've actually written the code all out in a previous tab earlier over here. So I'm kind of going to run through it. But the original structure is that we do something like this. So I'll just copy this over and uncomment it. Um, we do from data classes import data class. That's kind of like the standard thing. And then if I do class over here, I think I've got a class method, uh, data class with decorator here. And we can see that the data class does this at data class thing over here. And it basically lets us construct a class really nicely. So I'm just going to run that quickly and then I'm going to move on. So I do that. I might zoom in one more bit as well, just so that's nice and clear over here. And I'll just get rid of the terminal as well. So, control that. so now it's nice and clear that we can see that. All. And we can call our data class here. So we can say that C equals my data class like that. And then we have to, uh, it prompts us quite nicely. It's really nice. We don't have to do the init and we don't have to do the, the wrapper at the end of it. Um, and we've constructed this nice data class in the format that we want. So I'll put in two integers. This is just my default snippet. So I'll put in 100 and 200. So A is 100, B is 200. And that's a data class created. And then I can go ahead and do print. See, oh, so uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so I've created an instance of the data class, and then I can do print C, and quite conveniently, we've now got my data class and A equals 100, B equals 200, which was our assignment. And that's fantastic, it saves us lots of lines of code. But now, what I'm going to do is instead of doing this from data class import, from data classes import data class, I'm going to do this, which is import data classes like that and then I'll just import it as as DC for example just because D for data C for classes uh, nice and convenient now if I was to do that I'd have to comment this piece out if I comment this piece out this little piece here this decorator gets um, gets the um, Un, the, the yellow underscore which is kind of like this error message the pylons doesn't pick it up because it's been picked up but that's fine because now it's just aliased here is DC so instead of doing at data class we, we would do at DC dot data class like that and that's perfectly fine it actually works it works in the same way and all of the code runs now the reason why I've done this is because if I do DC over here and then put a dot it exposes all of the methods and one of the methods, and I've been playing with this, so it's actually come to the top of my methods list, but it, it's this one here, which is as dict. And if we look at it, it says it returns the fields of a data class instance as a new uh, dictionary mapping field, uh, field names to the field values. So that's quite convenient. So basically, x over here will get mapped to this x in our dictionary, and y over here will get mapped to y in, in our dictionary. And in, our, in, my, in the example that I have over here, I've used instead of X and Y, I've got A and B. That's perfectly fine. So I'm going to create a dictionary. I'm just going to say a dictionary. I've made a variable D for dictionary, and it's going to be DC dot and then as dictionary. And I'm going to as dictionary the C over here, which is the my data class. And the 100 and the 200 should be moved into the dictionary values and the keys will be A and B. So basically, if I grip my little drawing tool out, what we've got is um, A over here will be in a dictionary, and it's got this value of 100, and then B next in a dictionary will have the value of 200, and it will be as simple as that. So if we run it, this is nice and convenient, because sometimes we want to move from a data class to a dictionary. So we can, um, I think that's everything that we need to do. We just have to print out the dictionary actually. So we do print, print, and then D like this, and run it. And indeed we do get the data class and a dictionary. So we see the exact corresponding things. This 100 has translated into the 100 over here. And this 200 has translated into the 200 over here. So one is in our class up at the top and the other one is now moved into a python dictionary over here down at the bottom 
But the question really is this, and I'm probably going to be posting it on Stack Overflow, is, is there a way of actually creating a dictionary? So imagine that I created this dictionary here, so my dict like this, and I just say that it's equal to that. The question is, is there a way, is there a way to convert this dictionary to a data class? Question mark. So that's the actual data class. So that's the actual question. Is there a way of doing the reverse of this process? We can get data classes into a dictionary, but can we get can we move dictionaries into data classes in Python? So I'm going to end this video here. It'd be great to hear uh, feedback if it is possible or how it might be achievable. If it's achievable in a simple way, if there's a, like a reverse data class um, method. Um, that's available to do such a thing. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, uh, hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button. And even if you don't like the video, still hit the like button, subscribe button, follow button. I'd be very interested from the experts of Python to see if anyone knows the conclusion or an answer to how this might be achieved. The reverse the reverse of creating a um, data class to a dictionary. Can we get a dictionary into a data class in Python?